Walter E. Jones was most well known as the first black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. And even though his time as a ranger was limited, he would be one of the returning Power Rangers in 2023. It's Morphin time! Let's go kick some pearl. Walter E. Jones would play Zack Taylor. He and his four close friends would be picked as the five original Power Rangers by the wise sage Zordon to defend Earth from the evil sorceress Rita Repulsa. Zack Taylor would be chosen as the Black Power Ranger, gaining the Mastodon Power Coin and the Mastodon Dinosaur, which they would all form together as the powerful Megazord. Back off, Frank Face! The good guys are here! Get off our planet! Quick-witted and clever, Zack relies on a combination of skill, strength, and agility to win his battles. The original Black Ranger is an energetic, charismatic, and fun-loving young man. He enjoys athletics, dancing, parties, and girls. And whenever he doesn't have an arm around Trini or Kimberly, Zack would be found pursuing his attractive but hard-to-get classmate, Angela. Zack enjoyed martial arts just as much as he did dancing, and as a result created his own fighting style called Hip Hop Keto. And before Tommy Oliver joined the team, Zack and Jason would be close friends and would spar together. In fact, most of the time he would be Jason's right hand man. Now Zack stayed as the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, utilizing the Mastodon powers. And even though Jason was the ranger Tommy selected to take on his green ranger powers after Rita eliminated Tommy's link to the Morphin Grid, Zack is the only other individual to don the Dragon Shield when Tommy gave it to him so that its enhanced regenerative powers could heal Zack from the Oysterizer and Monster's acidic attack. Donning the Dragon Shield, Zack was able to defeat the monster, freeing his friends and his date Angela from a spell. Yes! That should break the spell! But then the next season came and Zack, Jason, and Trini were chosen to attend the World Peace Conference. In which case Zordon had transferred or copied Zack, Jason, and Trini's powers over to Adam, Rocky, and Aisha instead. Power Morphers? Megazords? Uh, -uh. this is just too weird for me. I tell you what, it's been real, but I gotta go. From then on, the character of Zack wouldn't appear until the final episode of Power Rangers Super Mega Force Legendary Battle, as Zack appeared as his morphed self to help the Super Mega Force team. Zack would make another morphed appearance as the Black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger for the second season episode of Power Rangers Beast Morphers Grid Connection. But it wouldn't be until 2023 when we'll get to see Walter D. Jones as Zack Taylor once again. Yo, what's up Ranger Nation? It's your boy Walter Emmanuel Jones, also known as Zack, the OG Black Ranger. For Hasbro PulseCon 2022, Walter Emmanuel Jones announced he would reprise the role of Zack to mark the 30th anniversary of the Power Rangers franchise. Because at the end of Power Rangers Dino Fury, it is known that the ultimate enemy for all Power Rangers would be Lord Zed. And Zack would return with other Rangers including Billy, Adam, Aisha, Rocky, Cat, and the introduction of Trini's daughter, Min as they would help the new Cosmic Fury team defeat Lord Zed once and for all. And even though Walter E. Jones' time as a Power Ranger was really short, it is very exciting to see his return in 2023, but he will always be known as the original Black Power Ranger. Let's do it! 